In this Auto Chartist intro series video, we're going to be introducing the Auto Chartist quality indicators. We'll go through each quality indicator with a brief description of the benefits and how you can utilize these quality indicators to make better decisions about the chart pattern result, about whether you should even take that chart pattern result as a potential entry and possibly a trade, and how to pick from the best of the breed, so to speak. There are a number of excellent pattern alerts that could be presented at any point in time, but how do you differentiate between what is a good pattern alert and what could be a better pattern alert? Traders will often utilize an aggressive and conservative type approach. Aggressive chart patterns, patterns that may not be textbook in their development, can still offer plenty of insight into potential price movement and excellent trading opportunities, but they are aggressive, while more conservative chart pattern alerts would probably be better suited to traders that are just getting to know the auto chartist platform as well as chart pattern trading. So remember, whether you're advanced, aggressive, conservative, or a new trader, the pattern alerts can be communicating whether or not this is an ideal setup for you. So let's go ahead and discuss these auto chartist quality indicators. Starting with the most basic, the symbol, the interval, and the pattern, this is a look at which pair, which time frame or interval, and which pattern type this chart pattern has alerted. The pattern end indicates when the pattern was completed. So notice here the time and date when the pattern was identified or when it reached completion. I want to be sure here that the idea of completion is not confused with what is a completed chart pattern. Completion, as it applies to emerging patterns, the right side of this platform, patterns that have not yet broken through the support or resistance of the trend lines or the horizontal lines and levels of the pattern, it's still within the pattern's range. Completing the pattern is not the same thing as a completed pattern. Completing the pattern here simply means the touch points that were needed to draw the lines and levels have been established, and therefore now this pattern is a viable potential opportunity. So again, that's the pattern end, date, and time. Contrast that very quickly with a completed pattern, date, and time. This now represents not just a pattern that has finished its formation or completion, but now also as prices have broken the barriers, the range of the pattern. Again, that's the big difference between completed and emerging patterns. Going down the list here to the length. The length of the pattern represents how many candles it took to form the pattern. If I click on the eye here, you see length is the number of candles or bars of the price chart that are contained in the pattern. So when you consider that this 15-minute US dollar Swiss franc falling wedge was formed over the course of 114 candles, remember that's 114 15-minute candles. Typically speaking, the larger the pattern, regardless of the time frame, Large is relative, of course, but the larger the pattern, usually there's more psychological significance, uh, more strength of sentiment, whether that sentiment may be bullish, bearish, or neutral. Obviously, this is a bearish sentiment or downtrending pattern. And the 114 candles that formed it, okay, at this moment here, the initial trend is reading that there is indeed a trending environment. So six bars or greater of initial trend indicates a trend, uptrend or downtrend. Here we determine it's a downtrend. So again, remember the length will have a factor on the significance, the sentiment of the patterns formation. And also remember that larger patterns will tend to have more movement, 
higher or lower once the support or resistance breaks, as opposed to smaller patterns, which may have shorter movements, smaller movement. That's just a generalization of expectations. The direction, as it applies to the emerging patterns, is a suggestion. It's a possibility, a historical likelihood. But remember, patterns can break in any direction. So while this is a suggestion, on the emerging pattern side, on the completed pattern side, this now represents which direction in which prices actually broke. The quality indicator, noted here, is essentially the average of the next three. The initial trend, the uniformity, and the clarity. These three make up this overall quality indicator. Now, don't confuse a high quality indicator with necessarily the only concern you have when it comes to choosing a pattern result because remember not all pattern types will have a strong initial trend reading. All pattern types should have a strong uniformity and clarity. If initial trend is the trend gauge, uniformity and clarity are more aesthetic interpretations of what the pattern is representing. An experienced trader might be very comfortable interpreting what looks like a good pattern, although that is very subjective. Having the uniformity and clarity adds a degree of objectivity. The uniformity is the spacing, the even spacing of the turning points that touch support and resistance lines. In other words, these touch points that are used to essentially connect the dots and create these two downtrend lines when they are evenly spaced rather than being jumbled or clustered in a single area the uniformity reading will be high notice we have one touch point here a big open space and then three touch points in a row so the uniformity clearing is not low but it's not the maximum of 10 bars the clarity is the level of noise in the price graph. More spiky price movement means a lower clarity score. Spiky price movement can often be called wicky in a candlestick chart because it looks like there's a whole bunch of wicks sticking out from each body of the candle. As you move through the price chart, you'll have lots of thin wicks sticking out, possibly even piercing the support or resistance. When the clarity reading is low, that means the market is noisy or disorganized. If there are gaps, again, this lowers the score. We always want a high uniformity and high clarity reading. Again, these are your aesthetic tools, your aesthetic characteristics of what a good chart pattern looks like. The breakout reading is important to the completed pattern section. It's unique to the completed pattern section because it will indicate how much momentum accompanied the break higher or lower through support or resistance. Finally, the last set of quality indicators are the forecasts. These again are unique to completed patterns. Once a pattern has broken the boundaries of the formation, the breakout reading appears to gauge momentum, and the forecast area is shaded on the chart. In this case, this forecast area is projecting potential resistance weighting above the breakout, and the prices are given here. This is a likely area for prices to follow through, and an area in which prices are expected to be met with selling pressure. So when you take all these quality indicators together, and then interpret either an emerging or completed pattern with them, you get a much more complete, much more clear and detailed look at what the pattern is doing, its quality, and even the characteristics that could accompany the pattern trigger.